Hey everyone, um, just gonna be a channel update just to let you know that I'm still uh, alive and working on effects and stuff. Um, I haven't really done anything complete yet to where I, you know, want to share or anything like that to make into anything. But I do want to let you know what I've been doing. Um, just just random things. I would just get in the mood to do uh, random things to try to learn new stuff and um, you know hope in hopes to either learn something good that could be used for a tutorial or maybe a movie um you know so right now it's just like whatever i get in the mood for doing i just do so you know so i just load did do do a few different things i did some film effects renders and you know just testing out different ways of using film effects i did a uh, one with a smoke container i just filled it up and you know just ran a ring it down to it a ring object and smashed it into the container and then lifted it up and it made a nice made some nice results uh, you, this could be used for you know some kind of a atom bomb explosion or something like that you could just imagine how it looks you know how it comes up and flows so you know it's a, it, just messing around with little different things this is just a low res version of it uh, so things like that you know try different objects, different shapes and stuff, and just to see what kind of different results I get. Um, and I will be doing some Fume Effects tutorials, so I'll start from the basics and work uh, my way up to advanced stuff for sure soon. Uh, so prepare for those. Those are probably my next tutorials is the Fume Effects ones. Um, I did those, uh, just, th you know, that was just random stuff I was doing. And I was working on this little, a little super guy that I got from Poser. You know, just made him just uh, for the kids. The kids wanted me to make a little superhero type thing. So I was just testing him out on here uh, just to see what he looked like in action and stuff. You know, I added the animation to him. Uh, it, I had the motion capture uh, data of the flight and the run. I transitioned them together and turned it into a flight just to see how it would look. I also claw, uh, manually clothed the cape so the cape would actually flow correctly so it's not just a you know an object a regular object hard body object it's actually clothed um, here's another version you know the kids wanted to see him fall so you know I have him run like a little Toy Story guy I added a little reflection to see how that would look on this particular thing with more shadows and he goes take off and he falls and you can see the cloth hits the ground and kinda crashes and crumples so you know that's just silly things I've been working on. Um, also working on this uh, this character for HP Productions. If I'm sure you know him from YouTube with Smallville Effects. Uh, he, he sent me uh, his image face shots and you know I used 3D Max and Poser, a combination of Poser and 3D Max and another program that generates face off of uh, the uh, images and I had to do the texture mapping myself to get a because the the face program that I use to create the face does very very low resolution uh, mapping so I had to bring it after I generated the face shape I brought it into 3d max and had to create a higher res uh, image of it so it would look a little bit more realistic uh, you know the it, you ain't re pretty much ain't gonna get realistic with it especially you know with a standard computer not having a power because it's not really practical because it would take too long to render anyway um, but I mean you can but it's just it wouldn't be practical uh, to use an animation because it would take so long to render uh, super realistic but you can get pretty close to where you can use them as a stunt double uh, thrown around as a rag doll and stuff like that so this works out really good um, this was the costume was uh, not this originally was a suit just a regular suit and I formed it into a jacket that matches uh, HP Productions jacket that he has. I'm gonna redo the jacket though, uh, the pants, the shirt, I'm just redoing it my own because uh, once I did this um, I kind of meshed these or used these they were like uh, pre, like the body here for instance, the body is from Poser um, and the, the heads from the program like I said that I used to generate because Poser has heads uh, fully generated people and everything and they have a face program but it's their face 
shaping and uh, programs is, you know, it's very, it doesn't work very good. And, uh, you know, you can add your mapping into it, but when it comes to the shape, you know, you pretty much have to manually adjust everything to get the shape right. And it just takes too long to tweak it. This other face generator program that I have works much better, much quicker, and it gets more realistic shape of it and you don't have any manual tweaks to do it just does it just by the left and front image your side and front images and uh, you get a nice shape to it uh, the hair is generated in max I use the hair uh, uh, plug-in to uh, generate the hair so it's actually real flowing hair if I wanted it to it's very you know I have it stationary so you can add wind to it and have it blow around and stuff like that and the jacket like I said the clothes are from poser or not poser those are from other model uh, models that I had and I just formed him into where it would look like his leather outfit that he has but uh, he's changing his outfit because after he saw Smallville uh, you know he wants to make him look a little bit more like Smallville so we're gonna change this all up anyway but I'm redoing the clothes because um, once I animated this you know the pants worked fine in clo cloth because I want to do this in cloth so I, I want the body to actually be boned which I already have the body boned and uh, when he runs, you know, the pants follow, the shirt follows, the jacket follows, but down here gets tangled up in his feet a lot, you know, just because of the way the suit was made, because it was a low-res model suit, it was a business suit, and I just formed it into it. So, you know, it was just a, basically a test to see how it would work, and it just, it doesn't work very well with the feet and legs when he's running. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I started practicing on a... Um, another character that I made, uh, my Michael Myers. My kids want me to make a uh, Michael Myers movie, a Halloween movie with them, and I'm going to use a 3D character that I made. Uh, it's a poser body, and I generated the head and reshaped the head using cloth, so it, look, it forms like a mask. I'll show you the head in a second anyways. And the clothing I did myself, uh, you know, that, that it takes a while to do the clothing, but, you know, it's it, it's pretty cool when you do it um, to start from scratch make you know you basically just use shapes and you you know you form it to the person's body and everything and you sew it together it's like it's just like real life you sew it together and everything and you can when you create something you know that sews together it's just really neat to see it all come together and then you know the basically I have the body boned and I have you know just just to show you an example I moved his arms and then I render the simulated the cloth and you can see that the cloth crumples up and follows them and everything and it's you know it's pretty cool uh, let me go ahead and render of course I already had it rendered I didn't realize that and uh, so I basically I did the whole jumpsuit myself uh, I textured the body to look more dirtier and everything for him and I also textured the uh, clothes with blood and holes and rips and tears and stuff so you know, he he's going to look pretty cool, especially in in high-res. I'll go ahead and uh, simulate him in high-res when I do it. And so he'll, he'll look pretty cool. And, it, you know, he'll be in the dark, so he'll look pretty scary and everything like that. So, um, you know, so that's pretty much another thing I did. So I practiced it on him, and it came out pretty good. So um, I'm going to go ahead and redo John's uh, clothing on there. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the mask real quick. Uh, mask. There's his mask. I even got hair, real hair on him. Um, so, but yeah, I did the mask, added some blood to him, and you know, you can see I, I stretched it and make it look like a mask. I used, basically started off with a head, and then I t made a copy of it, and then I made uh, the copy over it I, u I set for cloth. And I set it to a rubber type cloth, and it kind of stuck. I it stuck to his head, and uh, it collided with his head and stretched out. So it, it worked just like a mask. So um, I did them all up and everything. So it's gonna turn out pretty cool. I'll just show you his body real quick. Let me hide his uh, suit. You can see he's all dirtied up and stuff. I'll go ahead and render that out. And he does have eyes. They're uh, not in the thing there right now. Cause right now I'm finishing boning up his uh with the biped I'm finishing boning up the body and everything so you know I had to make him dirty because Michael Myers is dirty